Before we start off today's chapter 16 analysis or breakdown, I want to say that I'm not 100% today. I'm kind of got a little cold, so bear with me. Number two, this chapter is really lit. That it got me going back to Naruto and Naruto Shippuden's manga's adaptations just to see if I'm right about something. It's that powerful. Finally, I reminded everybody that I still don't believe Shizune ain't not a snack. <laughs> What's poppin' everybody? It's Avatar Yaya and I'm back with some more Boruto Naruto Next Generation videos, bruh. It's been a month almost since my last theory or somewhat. So I'ma hit y'all with some hard covered facts. Right now I'm gonna start out with the Kara. We got some more details about Kara and we can see the characteristics of how they interact with each other in chapter 16. Let me break down a few key differences that I see from the Akatsuki that we know in Naruto Shippuden and Naruto versus the Kara and Boruto Naruto Next Generation. The Akatsuki, they all have their own agenda, however, it works and leads to Obito's vision. Alright, each person so far in the Akatsuki, to my knowledge and to what we've seen, they all have been shunned by the world, so they all are out here trying to get revenge or do something, find their place in the world by working with Obito and Pain and Madara. Or the Kara, they all follow under one person, and that's Lord Jigen. He's the one that's always sitting in the chair with his hand on his face, but they all seem dysfunctional. They all follow under the dude Lord Jigen. However, when it comes to talking amongst each other that are not as important, they all argue with each other and they all have their own agendas as well. So that's a key thing I want to point out now, which may be coming up later in the video. Now here comes the vessel. So in this chapter 16, Lord Jigen or whatever his name is, he talks about they lost a huge vessel. We don't know how per se they lost the vessel, but he also explains the location of where it landed and where it could be, and that's near the fire village or Konoha per se. Now, what's the vessel? There's millions of speculation so far that I've seen and heard from various different people that the vessel is a different character that we don't know about. However, I do want to believe, and this may be a stretch, that the vessel most likely pertains to Kawaki. Look. Hear me out, Kawaki is the only character that we still have not seen yet, so anything could be plausible for a big plot point in Boruto. Two, it would only make sense that it's Kawaki, because generally they need to start building up Kawaki's character now, so that he can make a big impact later in the Boruto Naruto Next Generation's manga and story overall. It helps advance the narrative, and it only makes sense to show him or showcase something of him now and again is the vessel has a special property and i came in my head i started thinking about it. i was like yo wait a minute this vessel could possibly have the same powers as boruto because lord jiga again in the chapter says at all costs we must find the vessel that being said it has a unique key what is this unique key that he's talking about can it open up a portal can it open up another dimension usually in naruto and the whole franchise, keys, seals, hand signs, specific things like that, curse marks, they all open up different properties and different type of ways to get about and open it up new elements for the series. That curse mark Boruto has may be similar to what Kawaki needs in order to take over the ninja world and change it or possibly, I'm kind of reaching here, Kaguya may be making some type of reappearance in Boruto Naruto Next Generations. I'm not too sure, but right now, based on what's going on and how people are constantly talking about Kaguya, because later in this chapter, they talk about Sasuke says the evil in this world has not passed. So therefore, it must be people even stronger than the Otosukis or must be on the same page as the Otosuki Momoshiki people. Now, another portion of this anime I want to talk about is generally the simple fact that Boruto vs Naruto was kind of lit. Now what do I mean by it being lit? Now this is the part of the manga where I had to go back and research some good old Naruto, Naruto Shippuden stuff to make sure I was right. Cause I was like wait a minute, in this fight generally, Boruto vs Naruto, they're having a little shinobi bout, father and son, you know, the, uh, this old school, the same old, same old. 
Boruto is actually showing off how raw he is without using the scientific ninja tools. Now, fast forward a little bit. Boruto actually hits his dad with his own jutsu. Like, how you losing to your own technique, my boy? Like, you taking the L. Alright, then Naruto comes up, and this is the part that kind of blowed me, bruh. This man used freaking Earth Style, made a giant mud wall just to block Boruto's Jutsu. And coming back to Boruto, Boruto don't need to use no dang scientific ninja tool. This boy got water release, he did the Zutone, dropped the water on Naruto, then he out here, ka da da lightning style and he fusion hard that shit like he's that powerful why do you need a scientific ninja tools i get that he wants to make sure he won in the tuning exams be but nah i ain't going for that I ain't for none now it's literally at this point naruto the last airbender all right fast forward a little bit when i remember i was talking about the vessel that went missing well, our hero, the goat, the young god, Konohamaru comes out and shows the world that he knows where the vessel is while he's on his mission with his partner. He finds this coffin, and yes, when I saw the coffin, I thought about this. Now, at this point, I'm thinking like, okay, he finds the coffin of the lost vessel, which is most likely Kawaki, like I stated earlier. However, I honestly think this could possibly be either one or two things for Konohamaru. A, Konohamaru beats this hidden car member that shows up at the end of the chapter. B, Konohamaru dies, thus making Naruto pop off, and then propelling and projecting us into the foreshadow that we saw at the beginning of the series with Boruto and Kawaki. Or three, he just fights them and goes even and get out. But I'm strongly on the fence of Konohamaru is going to get faded. Here's my reasoning. Konohamaru, this is his time to shine, however, but we haven't seen Konohamaru do anything major since... He Rasengan the pain. He still has the same Rasengan. He still has the same Shadow Clones. Right now, Konohamaru to me and Boruto Naruto Next Generations is how Naruto was when he came back to the Leaf Village after that two to three year time skip at the beginning of Naruto Shippuden. So right now, I honestly believe Konohamaru boy, you have no chances. And that's generally what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on the theory videos sometime later this week. Hit y'all some more Naruto, Boruto Naruto Next Generations heat. And that being said, comment, and subscribe, tell me how you guys feel. Avatar Yaya is out. I'm done. Goodbye and see you guys later because you guys are golden and that's raw.